<clears throat> Five, four, three. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man Zero Three. It's awesome to have you along. Yeah, it only took three tries, but th it's the charm. <laughs> We've got some crops growing finally. I uh, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is actually a Sunday. I'm recording Monday's episode on Sunday because I'm still working on getting my furnace hooked up. Uh, but this is this is going. It's it's working. Now I can actually harvest the fruit off of this guy right here right now and then this carrot just literally popped up as I was uh, coming on so that's a fruitling and then we've got this guy over here this is the onion and this is another sweet pepper over here so it is working I have water in here what I did was I took water skins and I was able to fill this up to a certain distance and then of course it wasn't letting me do anymore every time I put an empty a water skin in it would empty it I would empty it and then it would refill again if you don't know how to do it if you go in here um, if you have a water container in here, let's see, let's grab this, let's throw it in there. If I hit right, fill reservoir, I can take that out of there. And you can see I get a little bit more water in there. Now, these are supposed to sit on the ground from what you guys are telling me, and then they absorb the water out of the ground to fill them. I'm not using them that way. It did rain, and it rained for about half a day here, so it did fill these guys up. But I've got water barrels sitting up here as well, and they've both got water starting to come back into them also. Um, let's go ahead and fill up our water container too. So we don't wind up in trouble like we did last episode. Now a couple of times I've come in after being off for say a day or something and I've noticed that there's no fertilizer in, in these crop plots. But there is fertilizer in them this time when I come on. And the water is just about full. It's not going through water very fast. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. So these guys are all growing and we're good to go with doing some of these in the future uh, We're gonna be really be looking for the wheat and the maize now so we can make some of the foods that we want And then we've got other ingredients here on the island that we can use to probably make some of the foods But yeah, these guys have got a little bit of growing to do we can take that right now The other thing I notice is that down there in the gray at the very bottom It says till the plot with a shovel to increase growth and yield the harvest bonus you can see there It says plus zero. I've got three tries to try to get this as best I can so if you left click on here you got to hit the little puzzle again and, and, and it's just so jarring when it moves I'm just really screwing this up there we go we get one so I get one little bonus uh, for harvest so that guy is growing he's got a little bit of extra on him do I have anything in here that I can do I can't do it here and I can't do it here this is the third time now in this growth cycle that I have done this particular thing. Now let's go ahead and harvest the fruit and see what we get. Deposit fertilizer. How much did I get? I got 32. 32 beautiful peppers off of that one plant. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty good. Uh, somebody suggested that we do some kind of a, a garden type area up here with uh, storage and everything. I love that idea. We'll do something up here for that. We'll make this, this is this is our playground right up here. We get to decide whatever we want to do with all this space up here. And I was thinking about doing crew quarters in here. But to be honest, what we could do is we could put crew quarters in some of these areas right here. We could do several crew quarters and have uh, different quarters all along here. And then, of course, they're ready to battle if need be. We could put shutters on these windows. And then these would be nice little areas for crew to sleep in. I mean, you could easily fit a bed right in here and then have the crew just kind of walk back and forth through here and live together so we've got that uh, so we can do anything we want to in here uh, anything else I did up here that you guys need to see I don't think so oh yeah I did Duh. Uh, I put in the grill and another reservoir over here now the reservoir is piped to the grill because we need water to it in order to make the dyes so we've got tons of dye in here and we could do these guys up so this is where we're going to make our dyes from now on. We'll put a nice chest here to keep the dyes in. It's just berries and water. And if we've got this reservoir filling up with water, I think if I do this here, let's try this one out. If I do this here, fill reservoir, fill reservoir, I could take that back out. And now what do we have in here? We have... It doesn't show... There's probably water in here. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think we need some wood in here and a few other things in order to make this work. But I put some water in there. So I'm imagining, it's, you see the pipe is blue now? I imagine it's in the pipe is where it's at. So, oh, I see it right there at the bottom. 199 out of 300 water uh, inside the, the grill itself. It's a beautiful grill. I love it. We'll have a couple of these. We'll put one in our kitchen area and we'll have one up here for the dyes and stuff like that. 
All right, so we've got that going for us. It's coming together slowly but surely, but I am doing it. Something else I want to show you guys real quick. Oh, you can't see it from here. That's how big our lair is getting. I thought maybe we'd call this the Emerald Point Lair, since that is uh, Emerald Point right over there, up there. I thought maybe we'd call this the Emerald Point Lair. What, what the heck not? It, it sounds piratey, doesn't it? Emeralds and all that goodness? Yeah, I think so. So Emerald Point Lair is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and drop these guys in here. Now, the ones we have planted out here, uh, I've not had much luck with the uh, uh, growth bonus because you, it's not asking me to till. This one's asking me to till now because it's gone through a growth cycle. Let's try it again. There's one. Oh, I wish it didn't do all that animation. I understand why it does. But it is jarring to the eyes. One more. Oh, I missed that one. So we get two out of three bonuses. That's going to give us a 32% bonus growth. Of course, if you hit these, it's it's better for the plants as well. And these guys, again, all I did was take my water container um, and then... Uh, no, it rained. I'm sorry. It rained. And it filled them up 5, 12 out of 600. And, of course, they're holding on to their food and their fertilizer as well. Did I fertilize the one that was upstairs that was asking for it? Uh, let's see. Let's go see. I don't think I did. And when it asks for fertilizer, you're better off having some in your inventory and dealing with it right away. Did I fertilize this crop? Deposit fertilizer. Deposit fertilizer. Do I have any left in me? It used all of that. It took all of that fertilizer. Okay, so here we got another growth stage we could do. Oh, I missed it by a mile. I've got to stop every time and look just so I'm ready for it as best I can be. There we go. We got we got two. So that's not too shabby. We got two out of three. I like the sweet peppers and how they look, so those are going to be the plants that we're going to have here and there around the base for sure. All right, let's take a look at anything else I've done. Let me think. Uh, oh, second thing I did was I moved that shelf down. It was ridiculous having to jump to every single box just to get into it. It, it got pretty frustrating really quick. And when I brought that down, it is really nice now because I could just walk up here. We've got our extra metals in here, which we've gone through quite a bit of it. We've got our extra woods right here. These are different woods than what we can get here on the island. Over here, I have miscellaneous the oil, seeds, and things of that nature. I'm putting over here right now some extra crystal. Matter of fact, why don't we put the crystal uh, since it is... Uh, Kind of related to the ore area let's do this right here and we'll just drop these guys in just like so there we go we'll do that right there over here i have the different that uh, different woods okay and this is the different thatches and fibers i thought i had some thatch oh gosh what did i do with it oh here it is here's the extra thatch and fiber these are the the varieties of them right there and matter of fact i wanted this stuff actually up here in this last chest don't know why I put them down there it was probably getting late or something there we go just like that so that's our workstation and then we have our things uh, our blueprints of course in here and stuff I did make a new sword for us we have the better pick uh, anything else in my inventory that we did I also made some I found the fine cloth shirt and the fine cloth boots i made those guys i did not put any extras on them i've also made a fine crossbow and a fine grappling hook everything else we have is journeyman at the moment and that's the next step up uh, what else did i do in here is there anything else i did in this area right here i don't believe there is anything else here let's go on down below i've got something i want to show you that you guys are going to be hopefully really happy about uh, another thing I did was I'm starting to get the crew put together. Their clothes aren't fine or anything like that, but what I did do is I went ahead and painted the clothes and got the clothes all dyed up so our crew looked like they belonged to the <laughs> Emerald Point, you know, lair crew. All right, so we did that, and let's go on down the elevator here real quick, and I'll show you what's going on down below. Ooh, Squatter is sitting up there at the top. <laughs> I forgot to pick him up. He's not on my shoulder, so he is sitting right where I left him. We must have rode right past him. I didn't notice him. Here we go. Almost there. I love having the elevator. It's very, very handy getting things back and forth. 
Now, I was talking last episode that I couldn't get stuff off the ship because I was having a hard time getting down to the ship and getting him close enough to it. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get close to the ship. So now we are right up next to the ship. I mean, just right up on it. Uh, the dock has come out this far right here. And we are going to try to continue it on a little bit more. But I probably will start back here again. And then, whoops, probably start right about here. And then move on down this way. And then we'll probably jut off again from it. And then move down this way. And just keep kind of building off of this initial structure that we have right here. This is big enough for the Forsaken to come to, which is fantastic. And then I can bring Bluto and the cart right up to it. And of course park him and be able to uh, access the storage container and then the cart that's usually behind Bluto here. So that's all good. You can see the crew on the ship is also painted up and ready to go. I can actually jump onto the ship from here, which is pretty fantastic. We'll try to work something out a little bit better to be able to get on and off the ships without having to use ladders. But uh, at the moment, this works out really, really well. Let's go kill those boars. Uh, we need... Uh, uh, carotenoid. We're really low on the carotenoid, so I've been working on getting the boars uh, kind of... Well, we got three of them here, so that means they're going to gang up on us once we start hitting these guys. There we go. Beautiful. Let's grab these guys up here real quick. We want that bone. we got to have the bone. There we go. It's worked out really, really well. I had a good time uh, just... What was it? Saturday morning I got up and I was just kind of tinkering in here and I, I, I found myself all over the place doing different things, which was a lot of fun. Uh, as usual, I don't want to get stuck on doing one thing for too long, so I just kind of jump around and have a good time. Uh, but yeah, it, it, the, the farming is coming together. I was happy to see that it does not go through water very fast, just like you guys said. It does not go through the fertilizer very fast, so it's a very doable thing on the islands. And once we can, we're going to be making the much better foods so that we can, uh, you know, feed ourselves better and we're not going to have to go through quite so much food. Right now I'm out and about trying to get my food down a little bit just so I can go get go ahead and uh, eat and get that buffer back on, on us. The bulls, I think they give us... Oh. I think they give us bones. I know they give us the prime, but let's see if they give us the bone. Leather, animal meat. Yeah, they don't give us the, the bones, so they're not worth killing for the bone. They are worth killing for the prime, though. We're going to drop the meat. We don't need it right now. Uh, we don't need the hide either. What we need is... Uh, there's a wolf. I've never tried to tame a wolf before. It'd be nice to have a dog, huh? I should really get a trap set up down here on the beach. Uh, inventory. Let's get this back down here where it needs to be. Oh, he's busy chasing something. Seven. Here we go. Yeah, there's a big fight. Oh, he's just picked a fight with boars. I think he's going to lose it. Male wolf, level 10. He's going down. He's about to die, and he is dead. All right, so that takes care of the wolf idea. <laughs> we're not getting a wolf today. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, we are going to go kill these boars and uh, gobble them up for their resources as well. Yeah, beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, they got to fix this part right here. <laughs> they, they need to stop sliding through the ground. There's one. Beautiful. All right, uh, let me take a little break. I'll come back, and uh, I've not quite decided what I want to do. It is a Sunday morning, like I said. Uh, I'm not quite in my normal record situation, so I, I don't want to go do anything too crazy to possibly get myself killed or any of our stuff uh, lost, because it does take time to get these things. Uh, you got to be careful with what you're doing. Let's go O, O, and O. Uh, there's 545 bones. That's pretty sweet. And we've got a bunch of hide came in as well. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt a little bit more, probably through the day, trying to run down my uh, stamina. I may put Bluto's cart back on because we do need 
uh, iron. We're out of iron up at the base. There's a rattlesnake. Let's go ahead and just give him a quick little smack. There we go. We'll grab him up as well. Oop. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'll be back. We are back. Just filled up all the oil lamps so that we're ready to go there. We got the lights all filled up and ready to go. Look at them just... Yeah, that's why it's best to build out the foundations. They just don't slip through the floor. Things like this don't happen. Work in progress? Is that it? Is that right? Work in progress. Uh, don't do that. All right, so I'm going to work on the dock a little bit more and get kind of it uh, figured out. How, which way I want to go. Oh, I forgot something up at the house. <laughs> it's always a pain. I thought I had everything, but I don't. I am missing the um, large shipyard. I want to get the large shipyard out here because I need to know where I'm going with it. Uh, if I leave him down here, I think he's fine. What is that down the beach? There's the bull and the cow. Okay, I thought for a second I saw like a lion or something. We've had a lion, one lioness, show up on this island. That's it. That I've seen. We've got a boar swimming around underneath here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to run wood posts from here all the way down to the uh, bottom. I am thinking about doing the angled ramp from this block back to the, uh, the structure. Uh, along here. I'm thinking about that. It doesn't hang out too far. It's only two and that's as far as as, as wide as I want this to go. What is he doing? <laughs> Gross, man. What are you doing? If I shoot him, Bluto's going to run into the water and I don't want that to happen. Um, okay, so I've got a bunch of... Uh, floors, of course. We've got a bunch of those. We've got some walls. I've got a few of these guys. We can make some more on the fly down here. I'm going to bring Belma down, too. And then we've got some uh, roofs. i got a smithy to put down here so we can work down here and not have to always run back and forth. And that's going to be really handy, too, when it comes to building the... Um, uh, the brigantine we're gonna get to the brigantine i think you guys are right i think in order to really continue on really well we need to get to the brigantine stage because that ship's going to be able to carry a whole lot more and we'll be able to bring more resource back and get more done right now i'm kind of worried about doing this and worried about doing that because i don't have a whole lot so it's like okay what do i really want to upgrade that's my tools i should have fixed those while we were up there but i didn't uh, so I did bring a smithy down for that. We got a box for storage. I brought two beds because you guys did confirm, not on the island, so to speak, but on the ship. If I put whoop, uh, more beds on the ship, it should lower the cost of these guys. I think I've got this set up for maybe three. I don't know. We'll, we'll do the other one right about here. Okay, now can I? I can put a third one on here. Okay. So we're we're family. We like each other. <laughs> We're sleeping. Close. That works. That works. You can still can you get through here? Yeah, you can. All right, beautiful. All right, that's a good deal. You walk right through those, don't you? All right, so we've got three beds. So I think they were like every 5.3 hours is what they were wanting to get paid. What is it now? Um, every 6.4 hours. So I gained an hour. Okay. All right, for two beds. So you get 30 minutes per bed, right? That's what that... Is that the math? Did I just do math, right? <laughs> uh, they look good, though, don't they? They're all they're all dressed in uh, Ronin Condorian Condorian gear. That's for sure. All right, so I, I do need that large shipyard. That's, that's kind of a must. So weird, I could have sworn. Let's, let's get this filled in a little bit more right here. I do know that I want to get 15 and 20. I can carry 20 of these is what I what I have figured out. I do want to get this sealed off. It's always good to just do this stuff all at once. It's like, okay, so I got to go there. I see, I see, I see. Okay, it wants, it wants to go down too. I'm going to let it go down too. If it decides it wants to do that, of course, we let it do that. And yes, let's put you down there because you're going to be in the ground. That's fantastic. Now I'm thinking what I want to do here, cut down on some of the cost of what this is going to be, is 
I don't know that I want to get this back too much farther. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can use less time, less um, foundations, but we'll see. We'll see. Eventually, what I'd like to do is drop down a little bit more. Uh, maybe right here I can drop down a block. We'll kind of start here and go across and see where we wind up. That's going to give us, I think, two parking areas for, for ships down here, which would be pretty cool. And then, of course, you just have to uh, steer them out, which is not going to be fantastic, but it'll work. I think. I think. That's the goal. That's the plan, man. All right, and you, and you. I don't need to go, well, let's go ahead and finish this row up right here. It's bright. Okay, like so. Yeah, we'll bring this one back as well. Where do we have to go? Is this a rock I can even move? Let's see if this is a rock I can break. Yeah, I can't even move this one. It occurred to me the other day that there's it's a possibility that I won't be able to move the rock. Oh, right here would be a really good place to drop that brigantine. The large shipyard right there. But the problem is, I think it's going to block that off a little bit. All right, so we got a problem out here. we got a rabbit right there. What are you doing, pig? <laughs> is he attacking the... He's attacking the dock, isn't he? What a weird pig, man. Oh, my axe broke. My fine, fine axe broke. But let's get the rabbit. Just give me the body. We had to get wet anyways. It cools us down. There we go. We'll just get what we can off that little dude. All right, so... That means this wood part of the dock is probably going to stretch from right about here over, hopefully. Uh, but I do need. Let's go get the. Uh, let's go get the. What you call it? The shipyard. Blue will be just fine down there. He can take care of himself. He's on. Attack your target. He'll be just fine. He's a big fellow. I think even if he were to fall in the water and encounter a shark. A decent shark. I think he'd still beat the shark. I think he would. Ta-da! I've taken Tabitha out and killed sharks with her, and she works fantastic. It's fantastic. This workstation, I love this workstation. This works perfect here. It looks good here. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we're going to dump the meat. And we're up here for the large shipyard. I know we made one because we went and looked at it. Now... Um, it was, a very good point was brought up. We have found a couple blueprints for these guys. Um, we may have a blueprint for a better one, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be more expensive because it's going to be a higher level, I believe. Um, hmm. I know I don't have any up here, but we may have one or two on the ship in the, uh, the bookshelf that's inside the whatchamacallit. Um, this is where I wish I had the zipline. Or even my glider. I just don't keep the glider on me because I don't need it much. I, I rarely find myself needing the glider except when I want to come down here. But I'd, then I'd have to wait on the other end, right? For the elevator to come this way. I'd have to wait. There we go. Boop. Thank you. Oh, I've got a fog event coming in. Hopefully it rains. If it rains, i got to run back up and get everything opened. All those barrels opened up with water. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see if I if I go with this guy right here. We'll we'll take a look. If 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 we should be doing that, I will do that next time. But let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look here and see. Can we get this guy? We can get this guy right here. No, I don't want you all the way back here. Okay, so what about over? He's got to be way out there at the moment. That's the closest I can get him right now. I would like to get him back here further. Let's see. We're, let's let's go under the water and see what's what's some potential areas. Okay, I see. This is this drops off considerably here, doesn't it? It really does. Um, that's why it's not sticking. It's got a little bit of land up here to grab hold of, but that's about it. It seems like. 
Because what I want to do is I'm going to run these down this way, and I'm going to meet up with the side of this thing, wherever we decide to put it. That's, that's going to be the goal. We're going to figure out where we're going to be, and then we're going to bring those blocks in. Oh, man, that's really a long ways out there. What about third person? Is this better? That is much, much better. Okay, much, much better. Okay, very cool. Now, what if I were to come... If I came up right about here... Oh, come on, you. See, now that's going to make it very difficult in order to get the for, the Forsaken there. If I have this right there, then, then we've got to kind of jockey our way all the way down this and then turn in. And that's going to be... That's going to be pretty tight. I'd like a little more room to be able to do that. I feel like if I got out to here, we're going to have to take the... Wow, the outer block is going to have to come way the heck out here. Can I do this all along here like this? Okay, it wants to come back. Oh, look at this. This comes back a long ways here. This is pretty good right here. Um... Think I can remember that rock being right there? This rock right here? I'm standing right next to this particular rock on this very rocky beach. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go take a swim. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it likes the fact that it's got this over here that it can hang on to. Look at Squatter. What a champ, man. Okay, so... And how far back did that come? Is that the right rock? <laughs> I think so. Let's go, uh, yeah, I know. Good luck. Okay, yeah, I can bring that way back in here. I can almost, I think I can get these guys up on the, up on the beach, actually. Oh, wow, that would be fantastic. How far away are we, though? We are a long ways away. From there, oof. That's a lot of blocks. But if I don't go too nuts with, let's bring this first row. We could turn a little bit too, right? I mean, I've got the ability to do a little bit of turning. We're going to need way more than 11 to do that. Let's at least get the 20 that we can carry. We know that. There we go. I know we could use these... Um, I've never really worked with these guys too much, these guys here. These guys are pretty helpful when it comes time to turn things. So if I were to... I need to start... I need to come over this way right here. Let's go right here. Let's bring it up so we can see it. Oh, just a few, just a few more. Just a few more should do it. I don't know that I'm going to have to turn. I would like to try it right about here. This would be pretty good. Let's get number six back again. Let's let's get our foundations back one more time. Let's bring this back so we can actually see it, okay? That's going to be a huge help right there. Um, okay, so if we do that, um, we could have... Yeah, if we've got another row, we, we wrap this around two this way and come down this way, that's going to be perfect. And then we could back the brigantine in. Well, we're going to be using it for well. If we if we're going to unload and unload and unload the brigantine, then we'll park the brigantine right where the forsaken is right now. We've got room to park the forsaken uh, elsewhere at the moment. Uh, the brigantine will be our main ship uh, for going out and getting supplies. And I'm thinking about just keeping this one and making another schooner, putting cannons on it, and then going after the pirate that's on the island. I think we could whip a, a schooner together pretty fast, really lightweight, fast, uh, with cannons on it, and then just get some crew, get on it, and go blow up a ship or two, and just give it a try. But we've got to be able to do, build them first. Um, and this is what all this preparation's for, is what makes it easier for me to get to that point. I, I need the... Uh, I need... You 
back, please. Thank you very much. I'm glad you can't place there. It's perfect. I'm glad you cannot. Now, how are we doing here? Third person. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is like right up on the beach. It's not so much over on this side though, is it? But I think we could uh I think we could fill this in with um blocks. Now, can I and can I actually place this on these blocks? I can. Oh my gosh, okay. I think one of you tried to tell me this once. I'm trying to figure out what's straight here. Oh wow, it's really... It's tough to see it. It's really tough to see that, to place it. There's like a little spot right here where it likes it. So if that, if that works right there, and I can actually get into that with this, maybe what I should do then is lay another, what is that? I think you guys said it was 10. 10. So let's go back to number 6 again. I'm trying to prep this out. I really wanted this one to work out. I want to figure out how to get these guys to place, because the shipyards just look cool. They just do. No, 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 no. Number 6. Why does it, it, it keeps wanting to turn it? Is it because I'm in? There it goes. Okay, that was weird. That's okay, though. Okay, it's letting me, it's letting me place there. So let's, let's keep, let's keep going real quick. The sun's getting ready to go down. Uh, I'm, my guy is super hungry too, so I'm gonna have to go up and get food. Uh, I guess we got food on the boat. The Forsaken. Back to number six. <clears throat> I'm hoping to get this in before the sun goes down. Come on now. Give me that. It's not liking that. You can't see it. There's no place for it to... Uh... Hmm. What if I go here? Okay, that'll actually stand up all the way. That's great. You're freezing, I know. That one didn't go all the way in. All right, let's get out of the water. I'm freezing. I'm very cold. Um, wow, this is this is um, this would be really cool if we could get this to work. Maybe I can get uh, a lot of the way, and then we can kind of figure out what we're gonna do. You're freezing. It says I'm freezing. There we go. Did we get enough? We did not. We, yeah, we're maybe halfway across what we need, right? It just has to come up to it. That's all it's got to do. Um, why, why now is, is this a problem? Oh, that's right. Okay, we're coming up this way, right? Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that's straight or not. I'm going to try it once, run over and take a look at it and see if the stairs are embedded in that dock right there. I think I should get the rest of the, the, the thing laid out first. Yeah, see, that's no good right there. That's, that's hanging out a little bit weird. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. And I'm going to work on getting this um, 
laid out as best I can, and then we'll work with it uh, depending on what happens with it when I put it together. So I'll be back. It's getting dark. <clears throat> Welcome back. I placed it. Uh, we're right up against the foundations. This is as far out as I get the foundations to go. I just got some right here that need to come out. Uh, that was one too many. It just wasn't going to be able to... St this part wasn't going to be able to stretch to the other end of this staircase over here. It gets just too deep and I can't get the uh, foundations to keep going down. Uh, so this is as far as I could get. Uh, so I thought, well, we'll just have to make do with what we have. Uh, this is not bad, though. This is a pretty good space. It's going to take a lot of foundations to fill uh, this chunk in right here. It gets pretty deep right down here. It's pretty deep, but it's worth it. It's going to look really nice, I think. And then once we have that part in, what we could do is we can continue on. Uh, we could bring it back this way even and just continue on down the beach if we need to for ships. But this is a pretty ambitious endeavor right here, to just to get this going right here. I think we'll be okay with getting the Forsaken in back here. This dock is just so huge. I've only had like one before, right? We made the Brigantine in Season 1. I screwed up the name, and then we never even did actually go anywhere in it. So this is the first time I, I've, I'm going to... We're going to name it the Abomination as well. It'll be the Abomination. But um, I think we should be able to scoot in here. Uh, kind of nose in and then just kind of turn and we'll be able to make it in there I don't I don't know if the brigantine's going to be able to make it back in there And if that's the case, we're going to have to set up another a different area here to uh, uh, Unload the brigantine, but I wanted it over here Whoop. Oh boy, great 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 great. Can I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Good. Thank goodness. I thought I was stuck down there. I want this to be a continuous kind of thing where it interlocks together. And there was talk of a wharf. And yeah, we could use some, some buildings and stuff down here. Some little sheds and chests laying around and, you know, storage bags and all kinds of different things just kind of laying here and there as you go up and down the dock. Uh, this is not just about Atlas. I enjoy the building in it, too. I think the stuff looks really great. So I love, uh, you know, adding extra things to it. Speaking of that, uh, did I talk about, I'm, I'm thinking about putting the S plus mod on here? I am, because I, I am running into a lot where I'm, I'm losing resources. These foundations right here, I thought that was going to stretch far enough for me, and it, I couldn't get any further, so I'm, I'm losing all of these foundations that I put down here, and they were much higher than that before, so... Uh, I think I'm going to put the S Plus mod on here, but I'm not going to do any of the extra mods at the moment. I'm wondering if uh, if the uh, mods are causing anyone any issues out there. Are they up to speed? Are they doing all right? You know, all that good stuff. Those of you who lost your worlds, were you using mods? I'm curious about that. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't have any more. Yeah, I'm out of stone walls. All right, so we're going to put a smithy down. We're going to put this down. Uh, I switched back into my fur armor. It's just, uh, it works better. We've got these guys right here. I wonder how many of these I could get. So I don't know how straight we are here. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, but I could go in there with this. Oh, look at that. That cleans that up really nice. It sure does. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I like that. It's not quite the same here, but if we come out uh, one or two, that will work. Uh, once we get the... Yeah, we should be able to do this. I could do this here and then another one there. Yeah, okay, that's going to look actually really good. Uh, but we are a, a one, low, one level too low. Why can't I see that? Hmm, I can't see that. Well, we'll have to get that out of there somehow. Because, uh, yeah, this has to come up one more foundation. Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe this is where we drop down, though, to a lower level here. Hmm, that's not too shabby. Because I'd like to have another ramp coming off of here, dropping down to here. So maybe what we do is we come one more, one or two more foundations until they're embedded. And we come across, and then we're going to have... This is the same part of the dock system, but it sits a little bit lower down towards the water. And if we want to, we could jump it back up over here. 
just to give it some different height as we go along. Hmm. Hmm, he said. Hmm. Mr. Turtle. That would work. We're going to need a ton more foundations, though. Wow, do we need a lot more foundations. I don't want to use the ceiling stone tiles because, again, the animals slip through them. That's what we have going on at the top of the elevator. The animals slip through them, and I don't like the way that looks. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll fill it in with foundations, and I don't have to worry about that. So where are we going to work? Uh, put up a little workstation here because we're going to be working on the Brigantine. We're going to use that to, to get our journeyman quest underway quite properly, I think. Let's go... Maybe I should get some more of these wood things and work this out. Hmm. I think I should before I start placing stuff. If, if we could work a little workstation out in area for it, that would be nice, wouldn't it? See, this is not... This is, this is how I play games like this, where it's... <clears throat> I'm not in, eager to get to the end. I'm just having fun working my way there slowly. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah, let me take another break. I'm going to get some more of these wood ceilings put together. I think I've got the materials up at the, uh, the Emerald Point Lair. And we'll get some more of these put together. I probably need maybe 50 or so. And I'll get those put together. And then we'll take a look at them and see... Uh, how they look, and we'll, we'll we'll mess around. We'll get that side of the dock looking a little bit better. All right. Welcome back. These guys are filling up with water. This one's almost full. There we go. I don't think it goes above five ninety nine. So those guys are watered, ready to go. We've got food that we can harvest. And one of you did mention that the only way we can cook food is if we grow the food ourselves. So you know, those look great, don't they? They look really good right there. I like that. Yeah, so what I was going to do is run upstairs. Well, not run exactly, because I can't. Oh, let's get our water filled up, too, while we're at it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I do. I always do. Up we go. Let's go get these water barrels opened up. I want them filled up as well. Is this guy pulling in some water, too? Let's see. He's right up next to the wall, so I'm kind of curious. Hmm... I wonder if he's too close to the wall. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's coming in. All right. So it's filled this up. Yeah, it filled this up, and now it's filling up the reservoir. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. That's the reservoir. These guys are all full as well. Uh, how's this reservoir doing? Oh, look at that. It's almost full. We could open these guys up. So this guy's full. He's going to be... A, that's three times as much water. 12,000 units. He's up to 1895. He's working on it. If we had him on the ground, I guess he'd probably fill up right away. But look at this. We've got onions now, and we've got carrots. Can I pick these? It says it's a fruitling. Not ready yet, huh? Oh, there says harvest fruit. Harvest fruit. I wonder if they just changed. So we do that. We do that. Bam, we got that. And then let's see what in our inventory. What did we get? 36 onions and 40 carrots. Oh, that's awesome. That's just awesome. We'll eat, we'll eat a carrot. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, let's just leave those open. I need to run back up here and make sure we do this. Um, let's go ahead and throw, can I throw this in here? I could throw the food in there. Let's just throw that in there. I wonder how long it lasts in the grill, if it lasts longer or not. I guess i got to check the time, huh? It just started raining as the sun came up, so I thought that would be pretty cool to come out here. Here we go. Let's let's do a little flying. I keep talking about using the glider and I never do it. Whoa! What the heck? I wonder what happened there. It was weird. There we go. A little bit of damage. No big deal. <laughs> All right. So let's put that on her because it's just it's heavy. It's really heavy. Here we go. And let's grab Bluto. I think I've got some stuff on him as well. I do. Let's grab Bluto. Bring him on over here. We are set, ladies and gentlemen, to get started on the Brigandine. I didn't get this quite all the way down, but uh, we're, we're, we're close. We're close enough to... I put a little workstation right there in the corner. I figured that'd be a good spot for it. Let's go ahead and first... Well, first, let's go ahead and tell this to make the ship. 
There it goes. I could grab all this stuff back, those resources back, and you know what? I bet I could make some more ceilings out of that. Wood ceilings, three of them. Okay, we'll do that with those. I also have a couple of decks. Let's go see now. We should have a ship sitting here. Oh my gosh, look at there. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. So the galleon, of course, stretches all the way to the back. All the way to the back. The galleon is massive. If you've not seen the brigantine before, she is large as well, but uh, well worth it. Let's see here. Let's go number six. Uh, yes, let's put the top deck on first. Uh, you want to use the medium-sized stuff? Is there not a lower deck than this one, too? I thought there was a empty and full. Okay, so here's our choices. Oh, can I pick this one back up? Yes, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I can get myself out of here. I can, okay, beautiful, yeah. I forgot there's the option of if you want the deck full or not full. So let's try this out on the top again. Uh, I'm not sure I want all of that sealed up. We'll see. Okay, there's the bottom deck now. It's reading that. Let's put that one in since it's seeing it. Let's do it. Last time I built the Brigantine, you guys said leave the middle deck out. Let's see. And we had the entranceway right here in the center, which worked out pretty good. Uh, so, okay, so you got the two choices, empty or full. We're going to fill it in, I think. We're going to go ahead and do that. We've got an area back there to get on below deck into our sort of area. And then we've got a larger area here for storage. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, there we go, like so. And then I also made a few of the panels. We don't have a whole bunch of them, but we've got a few of them. And then we can name it once we launch it. Oh, i got to go get them off of Bluto. I want to do some kind of a partially enclosed area on this end of the wood dock. Something just, just really simple. Okay, the rain just stopped, so we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to run back upstairs. But let's get a few of these in place so you guys get a feel for it. There's two. Oh, man. The abomination is going to come alive again. There we go. Is it just the two, or is it? Is it? There's a third. Is it three levels of? I think it's just the two, right? We got this lower chunk and then the upper chunk here to do. Yeah, it's 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 two. I think the the um, the galleon is much more than that. I think it's three, three levels of planks. They take metal, so we're going to be getting lots of metal, wood, and that stuff like that. That's why Velma's down here. I figured it'd be important for her to be here. Uh, so we're going to work on getting the Brigantine put together so that we can go after uh, more stuff. Uh, yeah, this is a much bigger ship, as you can see. It's much bigger than the Forsaken. She's been great, don't get me wrong. But with this, we should be able to easily get our giraffe back, our rhino back, um, and just bring back a lot of materials. How much can does she carry? 15,000 as opposed to, I think that's 11. So we got an extra 4,000. And then as we sail along, we can actually um, add more uh, weight to it as we go along. But yeah, that's going to work out just great. I love the Brigantine. It's going to be fun. I've never sailed one. So this is going to be exciting for me. Very exciting for me. That's all i got time for, guys. I don't know if this episode's long, if it's short, if it's or, or what. I just don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. Can I get all the way back here? And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.